hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to change the field type of a particular field now when you have a data that you want to use for temporal analysis you have a column or a field for your date and then the date type or let's say the type of the field is stored as string it will not be recognized where the date needs to be seen so for instance if we right click and then we come to properties and then we go up to temporal and then we try to um, check dynamic um, temporal controller and then we come to single field with um, date and time and then we want to know the field that contains the date remember we have a field that we have called date but when we try to use it drop down there is no field that is recognized as date right good this shows that the data stored under this field is not having the date as the type of field right good so we are going to create a new field and then the type will now be date so that when we go to that temporal analysis we can now be able to see this particular field as what a date right so let's come to open field calculator we are creating a new field let's call that date underscore right then um, the output field type we are going to have it as date which is the most important part of the whole process then we now have an expression good to date then what are we converting to date we are converting this field this date field to date and then what is the format we need it to return the format we need it to be returned is what year month and day right good so so in this case where we have um 01 to be the date 01 to be the month and then 19 to be the year so it means that when this new field is created and then it is recognized as what a date we are going to have the year the month and the date to be the format with which the date will be displayed right good so you can see from the preview that we have the year we have the month and then we also have what the day right good so i haven't understood that let's click on ok so you've seen that there is a new field that contains the, the year the month and the day right and then if we try to over our mouse around the field header we are going to see that instead of having it as string we can see date right good but if we come to the former one you can see that we have it as what string right good so that's the difference between these two fields that we have named it now finally before we go let's come back to the properties and then go to the dynamic temporal controller and then we select single field um, with date and time and then we use this drop down you now see that the date underscore has been highlighted which means that it has what date as the data type right good so if we click on that and then we apply and then we click on ok we are going to see that this field is now this layer rather is now what a temporal layer because this field now stores data that has date as the type right good unlike this field that stores data that has date as a um, string right good so we believe we have been able to show you how to convert a um, data type from string to date right good which you can use for your temporal analysis so thanks for coming to class we hope and we have provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye